Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today I'm inviting you to join me for this abundance vinyasa flow. We'll be using Garuda Mudra, inviting abundant prana, pranic flow of energy into the body, harmonizing the energies of our body with the universal flow, tuning into the abundant flow of chi, universal energy, harmonizing with it and allowing the body to heal, expand, recharge by balancing the energies and opening ourselves to abundance. We invite abundance on each and every level. We invite generosity from our heart to our heart. We express the true language of the universe with our own actions, beliefs and energy. And let's flow with strength and ease. And let's begin at the front of the mat, bringing the palms of the hands together over the heart. The feet are parallel to each other. Taking nice deep inhalations through the heart, expanding the chest, opening the back, lifting through the crown of the head. And as you inhale, allow expansion, invite expansion into your body. As you exhale, allowing the feet to sink into your mat. Taking a moment to observe the flow of energy in the body. Allowing unobstructed flow of energy, the universal flow of energy through your body flowing harmoniously, unobstructed, freely and let's bring the hands over the third eye, expansion, openness, lift, reaching over the head, open the arms out and we're going to move the spine a few times hands in front, hands opening, arms reaching forward, arms back and the spine is curving with the arms, exploring our own flexibility and the fluidity of the spine, hands over the heart and here we're going to bring the right hand over the left and cross the right thumb over the left and open the arms like a bird the wings of a bird, feel the expansion of the flight of a bird, the openness of the wings and allow that openness to translate into your soul, into your emotions, into your heart, allowing yourself to fly. Shift your weight onto the right leg and take the left leg back in warrior three. If you can still hold your mudra, do so and level the hips. Come up to standing, reach over the head, step it down, hands over the heart, big breath in, shift onto the left leg and when you're ready go into warrior three, level the hips, press the back heel away from you and take warrior three here with a mudra. Beautiful, slowly coming out of it, step it down hands over the heart, release the mudra and you can circle your arms around you, figure eights, involving the core, feeling the core awakening, this moves are really good for awakening the core, connecting the abdominal muscles, the deep abdominal wall. Step your feet a little wider than hip width apart, bring the hands over to the left foot and lift over to the right a few of those moves, engaging the core as you move, feel the arms, feel the entire kinetic chain and let's bring the hands over to the opposite side and reach over to the left over the shoulder, move in a fluid way, inviting fluidity into your body, breathe. 
and we're going to bring the hands in the center between the legs and chop them up like choppers to the right and to the left bringing gentle twist into the spine feel the move bring grace into your moves let's draw circles with the hands over the head Coming into still standing and drawing circles over the head with the fingertips. Opposite direction, moving and feeling the upper back muscles. Great. Let's bring the hands over the heart. Chair pose. Sit back. Open the chest, push the knees back, exhale, left hand on the floor, right arm reaches up, the hands are reaching away from each other, you can reach up and over the head, changing sides, opening the left arm up, openness, elongation, reach over the head, turn the palm of the hand down, and lower down, forward fold. Let's wrap the wrist around the elbows, hanging here. And you can move side to side. Not holding your upper body, not holding the head. Relaxing the face muscles, softening. Hands coming onto the shin bones, look ahead of you, straight back, pull the belly in. And we're gonna go for a few vacuums coming up to standing. Hands over the knees, pull the belly in, hollow the belly, empty the belly, vacuum. Stomach vacuums, those are extremely powerful. Moving the chi in your body. Great, one more time, hands over the knees. As you exhale, hollow the belly. Practice them and they will get easier with time. Time makes things better. Perfection comes with time. And you can move side to side. And of course, perfection is just gradual understanding of a pose, not coming to a full, completed version of the pose. One more vacuum. Toning the abdominal wall, the internal organs. Great, release, forward fold. And step back into plank. Push the heels away from you. Lower down onto your belly. Inhale, cobra, keep the elbows slightly bent. Lengthen the back of the neck. Press all ten toes down into the floor. And let's lift one leg up off the mat. Keep the hip square and then take the other leg off the mat. Kind of like swimmers here. Again, lift one leg, lengthen the back of the neck and lift the other leg. One more time, lift one leg and change. And tuck the toes under, press yourself up and back into downward facing dog. Lifting through the tailbone, elongating the spine. If you need to keep the knees bent, do so. You can look under one shoulder and then under the other, softening the face muscles, relaxing the face. Look again under one shoulder, then under the other. And now we can draw figure eights with the hips, bending the knees and just moving the hips here. Kind of like bicycling, but with a little hip swirl here. Figure eights. Do whatever feels good. Allow your body to guide you. Let's inhale the right leg up. Open the right hip on top of the left. Lift, lift, lift. 
and bend the knee here. One-legged dog, really open, lift. Energetic toes, open the toes, spread them open. And let's square the hips and draw big circles with the toes on the right side. In down dog. Those are new poses, so come back to this class. And we're gonna step it through and take warrior two. Soften into your warrior, soften the breath, soften the chest, soften the arms, soften the shoulders. Reverse it and walk the left hand down the left leg, lengthen, feel the obliques, stretching the sides of the body, stretching. Lower down, side angle and again lengthen, open that left hip. External rotation. Turn the palm of the hand down, place your left foot down, lift the arch of the foot. And exhale both hands down, level the hips. Lower the left knee down and take low lunge. Lifting here, crescent lunge, reach over the head. Hands can open on the side and take the heel off the floor. Just staying, staying on the tippy toes. Release and step it back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, open, lengthen, lift, expand. Soften. Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Complete exhalations. Allowing your breath to sink with the universal flow of energy. Let's take the left leg up and open the hip. Bend the knee and lift, lift, lift. Breathe, lift, invite freedom into the hips, into the body. Invite flow, fluidity. And let's square the hips, extend the left leg back and draw big circles with the toes on the left side. Great. Walk ahead of you, step it through, warrior two. Coming up. Take a nice strong warrior and sit into the back body. Lean back into the back side of the body. Sit back. Pay attention to your feet, lift the arches of the feet, spread the toes open, press into the outer edge of the right foot or the heel of the right foot. And Soften into this pose, relax the shoulders, leaning into the back body here. Reverse the warrior, walking the right hand down the right leg and lengthen both sides of the body. Lift and lengthen. palm of the hand down and lengthen the top side of the body, opening the right hip and lengthening that entire side from the foot into the fingertips. Find length with gratitude for the blissful experience we are part of here on our on this beautiful place. And release the right knee down, squaring the hips Come up, coming up in a crescent lunge reaching over the head great open the arms out and lift the heel coming onto the tippy toes beautiful yes glorious and bring the hands down step it back plank chaturanga upward facing dog lengthen open feel Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Breathe. Lifting through the tailbone. We can 
gently move the hips here. Let's take the right leg up and draw figure eights with your toes. So you're gonna draw big figure eights with the toes, allowing the hips to warm up. Let's think of it as bringing juiciness into the hips. Great. Let's open the right hip on top of the left. Lift, lift, lift. Gorgeousness. Lifting, feeling. And step it through. Warrior one coming up, facing forward. Lifting. Hands over the heart, right hand over the left. And coming back to your mudra with openness and expansion of the heart. The heart is flying like an eagle. The hips are squaring forward. We're going to shift into warrior tree. If you can hold your mudra and challenge your balance, beautiful, great. Balance is a big part of developing strength and let's lower the left hand down revolving half moon take your time take the right arm up when you can you can try to look to the side or even up and step it back into twisting low lunge or lunge Roll onto the outer edges of the feet and open the right arm up. Opening the chest up here. Opening the hips. Beautiful. Step it back plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. And let's inhale the left leg up, draw a few figure eights here, filling the hip, the flow, lubrication in the hip joint. And open the left hip over the right, lift the knee here, invite freedom into the body, into the pelvis. Flexibility, fluidity in the spine, energetic toes, energetic fingers, and step it through, coming up, warrior one. The hips are squaring forward. Hands over the heart, right hand over the left, Garuda Mudra flying like a bird, lifting, elevating like the phoenix, inviting solar energy, prana, flow into the body, energizing the body, cleansing the aura, elevating, elevating the energy of the body, shifting forward into warrior three. If you can hold your mudra, great. If not, let it go. Keep flowing forward, warrior three. Challenging our balance, always good. And let's bring the right hand down, left arm reaches up, revolving, half moon. Lift that back heel up, use your hamstrings, use the glutes, open the chest, drop the shoulders away from the ears, hands reaching away from each other. Another balancing pose. Great, step it back into a twisting lunge, right hand on the floor, left arm reaches up, roll onto the outer edges of your feet and sit back into that left hip, open the chest, lift, ele elevate, open, step it back, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, soften, Chaturanga, downward facing dog, lift, lifting through the tailbone, 
spray. Now let's walk the hands back. Sit back in yogic squat, open the knees out, feet out, hands in prayer, elbows pulling the knees out so that we can open the hips. Here you can clasp your hands behind the right knee, open the chest, look up. Release opposite side, clasping behind the left and opening, twisting. Hands on the floor and here you're gonna step as demonstrated. Knee out, knee out. Think of this as juiciness for the hips again. Lubrication of the hips. I've been working with this pose for a year now and I adore it. It's a fluid way in motion to work on hip health, pelvic health. And you can reach forward and walk all the way into a downward facing dog. Breathe. Breath is the flow of life and energy. Inhale the right leg up. Lift. And here you're going to <laughs> Try to balance and keep the right hand on the floor. Try to take the left hand onto your tailbone or onto your foot. Focus on the drishti point and release. Short but sweet and twisting lunge. Left hand on the floor, right arm up. Come up in this twist reach with the left arm up, right hand down the left leg, hands in prayer twist, drop the shoulders down, coming back up, step to the front, here we're gonna go into some fun movements, Shift your weight onto the right leg, bring the left knee into your chest. If you can grab your foot, grab your foot. If you can straighten all the way or half the way straighten and come down into one legged squat. Sit down onto your booty, straighten the leg, Navasana and roll back into one legged plow and roll back up into chair on one leg and again roll back, plow and come back up standing onto the right foot in squat. Three more of those, two more. Smile, roll, massaging the spine, balance. Before the last one, you can pause in plow and move your legs, play around, invite, invite childlike energy into, into your life, into your movement freedom and come out step your feet down yogic squat and step back all the way into plank chaturanga upward facing dog chaturanga downward facing dog breathe Not resisting the flow of prana of energy, the universal flow, allowing it, inviting it into your body. And let's take the left leg up and again we're going to balance. So left hand on the floor, right arm reaches back to grab the ankle or the heel. Focus on your drishti point. and step it through. 
into lunge. Right hand on the floor, left arm reaches up. Coming up into twist. Hands in prayer. Right elbow to left knee, open here, drop the shoulders down. And step to the front. Let's grab the knee, maybe grab the foot. Straighten and begin to squat down. Sit down onto the body, one legged Navasana, bolt. Rock back, one legged plow, and come back onto the foot. Rock back. I'm having fun with the uneven surface here. Everything is fun. If you have nice floors, that's fun too. Work with your environment. And you can pause before the last rep and just pause in plow, open the legs into splits. Move them how you want to move them. Have fun. And come back out into one-legged squat and step your feet down, your weak squat. Straighten the back. And hands on the floor, bring your knees down on the floor and we're gonna prepare for bridge pose. Press your hips forward, knees hip width apart, walk your elbows in towards each other and lift through the heart here and bridge, lift, release, hands on the floor. We're gonna have the knees just behind the wrists and lift them here involving the core, really lifting the core as we lift the knees of the floor. Lift, lift and squeeze the belly. Squeeze the belly, lift, hold the knees and now pendulum them left to right towards the triceps. Great, rest from this. You can bring your elbows down and rest. Step it back in downward facing dog. Take the right leg up. Step it through. Come up. High lunge. And circle the arms a few times. Step it back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Left leg comes up. Step it through. We're moving here with the breath. Open and move the arms. Circle them. Expansive and step it back, plank, chaturanga, upward dog, chaturanga, downward dog, right leg comes up, keep moving with your breath, come up, high lunge, hands over the heart, heart Garuda Mudra, and we're gonna bend the knee 10 times, lowering the left knee down, 10 or so times, whatever works for you. Extending the tailbone down here to the tailbone. Great. And hands on the floor. Plank to Chaturanga. To upper dog. To down dog. Opposite side. Step the left leg through. Come up. High lunge. Garuda Mudra. And lower the right knee down. Directly down. Squaring the hips, slight extension in the tailbone, so we feel the hip flexor stretching. It should feel comfortable. And release down. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, right leg comes up. Step it on the outside of the right hand, keep the knee in and lower the elbows down. We're stretching the hip flexors here, walk the left knee back, hold. Step it back. 
back, move through your vinyasa, take the left leg up, step it through, on the outside of the left shoulder, squeeze your knee in, lower the elbows, lower the right knee, hold here, breathe, exhaling through the hip flexor, coming up, step it back, plank, push up, side plank, you can do knee tuck optional and again push up, side plank, knee tuck optional, push up, side plank, knee tuck, push up, side plank, knee tuck, because upper body strength is very important, especially in yoga where it can be not often covered, continue, push up, side plank, knee tuck, push up, side plank, strong knee tuck, push up, side plank, knee tuck, move with ease, great, and here we're gonna come on to all fours, only the knees are just off the floor and you can move them side to side, they do not touch the floor, extend the right leg behind you and we're gonna do 20 leg lifts, lift and really feel your body here engaging pigeon pose bring the leg through open lower down the rib cage is lifted the left hip is down Spin the left foot in so it's not rolling out opening. Keep the spine elongated. Breathe. Soothing your heart with your breath. Soothing your body with your breath. Exhaling completely. Tuning into the peace of the moment, inviting silence. Emptiness. Slowly coming back up, open the chest, lift like a pigeon, hands in prayer, twist, elbow on the outside of the knee, soften, lengthen, you can bend the back knee, grab it with the right hand, open, twist, change hands. Release, go back to one legged down dog. You can do a few knee circles. Come down onto your knees and 20 lifts on the left side. Squeeze the booty. Lift high. Through, pigeon on the left side, 
open the chest, lifting the rib cage, lower down, you can twist, do what feels right for your body for the moment, do what opens your energy and lower down, the spine is elongated. Both hips equal distance from the floor. So don't open on the right side. Keep the right hip down. Softness in your exhalations. Letting go of resistance. Slowly coming back up. You can do a twist, of course, optional if it feels good. Release, you can back, bend the back knee, grab it with one hand, change hands. Circles with the left knee. Inviting beauty into that hip. And here you can twist as demonstrated side to side. So in a twisted, somewhat of a tabletop side plank type of pose, twisting side to side. crossing the knees on top of each other and moving side to side feeling the fluidity of all joints here the spine, the hips, the knees, the shoulders change to the other side and open and let's step the left foot through and take plie glorious plie you can lift the heels side to side, shift side to side, turn towards the back of the room, step at the back, hands over the heart, changing your perspective. The back is the front. And plie on the other side now you can again dance flow side to side mudra the phoenix inviting sun solar energy into your body elevation exhale the hands down and flip over into tabletop Tabletop and we'll take the left knee over the right, lift the hips high, release, onto the other side, lift the hips, cross the legs and release, sit down, forward fold, forward bend, breathe, exhale through your hamstrings. 
inhale coming up and a twist bring your left knee up left foot on the outside of the right knee here I'm crossing under my knee but you don't have to hold a twist here release an opposite side touch and go we're not holding it for a really long time so really lengthen and breathe into it and let it go movement is powerful here release and wide legged forward fold either hold it or you can move fluidly into that forward bend See what your energy is asking you to do today. Great. Prepare for plow. Flipping the legs over the head. You can cross your hands. Plow pose. Breathe into your throat chakra. I love plow. It's a must pose for me. Must do pose. Very good for the health of the glands. Great, shoulder stand. Look up towards your feet. Soften the throat. You can move your legs here or bring the knees over the ears. Slowly coming out, rolling out, and sit down onto your body. Either bridge pose or wheel. Finishing touches. Open the chest either way, bridge or wheel pose, feet pointed directly forward. Lower yourself down. A pine twist, right knee crossing to the left, change sides. And let's bring the legs over the chest towards the forehead, cross them a few times, pull the belly in. Soften the hamstrings and both pose. Hold it here, reaching forward, open chest. Great, release. Soles of the feet together. You can bring your hands in Garuda Mudra over the heart. Optional. Inviting the flow of energy again, of abundance to flow through your body. You can extend your legs, laying and allowing the pranic flow circulating through the body to circulate unobstructed. Great. We can cross the feet in lotus here. Optional, you can just lift your body up in a form of a plow here. I have them in lotus lifting and straighten the legs and shoulders tend in lotus release release the lotus and you can move the legs back and forth in splits lower them on the floor in bridge bridge pose and elbows on the ground crown of the head on the floor for fish pose and you can make yourself comfortable for shavasana a short meditation here on abundance a personal meditation observing all the ways in which you can invite abundance into your life starting from the energetic point of view Abundance of love, of generosity from your heart out. 
and also observing the flow of abundance in and out of the heart, generosity in and out, towards you and out of you. It is the same energy. Breathe, breathe into your chest, into your heart, into your belly, allowing everything around you to melt away, to drop away and for you to be here now, vibrant, harmonious with the universal flow. Thank you for joining me today. Stay here for as long as you need to and I'll see you soon. Namaste. Remember to flow with strength and ease.